So today I'm going to show you how to build a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, this is a video I was going to make a long time ago. I never got around to it because I got busy. So for everybody that was waiting on me to make it, I'm sorry it, it took me so long. But we're just going to go over a couple of basic stuff and I'm going to show you how I made this HD and it, it works. And if you haven't seen it, you know, pop over to my channel and take a look at it but uh, I'm using Adobe CS5 and I know there's some people that use CS2, some people use CS3, some people use CS4 um, I've used CS2, CS4 and I just got CS5 last week so if anything looks different it don't freak out because it's pretty much the same program same concept once you understand how Premiere works on the the basic level then you shouldn't have a problem with using anything else so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start Premiere Pro on my computer uh, I have a Windows 7 ultimate 64-bit machine so if you're not using 64-bit and you don't have a Core i5 like I do it may take you a little bit longer to to get through things but like I said, general concept, once you get it, it, it should be fairly simple. So once you load the program, you'll get this window box. And it's just basically asking you what project file that you want to open or if you want to create a new project. Now, if you use Adobe stuff before, you should be very familiar with this concept. If you haven't ever used another Adobe product like Photoshop or, or anything of that sort, then basically the project file just holds everything that you're you're doing so for this purpose we're going to start a new project and you'll get this window and then most people freak out when they get to this window uh it, like i said it may look different for you if you're in a different version but it's generally the same concept uh the scratch disk tab is for uh where do you want premiere pro to work on your files the general tab is just for general video purposes now if you're going to be using a regular video you want to use DV uh, I'm assuming that means digital video I, I don't know everything about Premiere Pro just yet but I believe it stands for digital video and if you want high definition video you want to choose HDV and that will give you high definition uh, video playback of course the location for my files are going to be in Adobe Premiere Pro and then we need to name the project something so I'm just going to name it test video and then you're going to click on okay and again this is all uh, stuff that's just generic it's fine you don't have to change it unless you know what you're that you're gonna have to change it um, then you'll get to this window and this window is even more confusing to most people because it, it's basically like okay I just gave you the basic overview of, of what I want to do and now you're giving me another yet another window and what Premiere Pro is asking you for is what type of video are you trying to produce now if you know that you're gonna be using high definition video or you know you're gonna be working with a specific type of thing then that's what the rest of these are for we are in NTSC in North America so if, if you didn't know that then we are in NTSC PAL is for international so unless you're overseas you will never use PAL you'll always use, always use NTSC uh, like I said before I'm using HDV because I want to create a high definition video and then it's going to ask you well which type of high definition video do you want now I believe YouTube can go up to 1080i if I'm not mistaken but it's gonna produce a really large video and it's still really not worth it so I think 720 is high enough and so you're gonna to wanna to choose HDV 720-30 that'll give you a 1280 by 720 video with 30 frames per second and it'll also give you the high definition audio track that you need now for the other tabs if for whatever reason you need to change anything on these presets like you know let's say for example you know I need to change the uh, frame rate on the time code you know you could change that here 
if you need to change the frame rate you know to a lower one you could do that as well uh, generally you don't want to use a setting that's higher than the source that you're going to be using so if you have a mobile video that's at 320 by uh, 120 and it's going at 23 frames a second you don't want to increase that to 29 frames per second unless you just really need to because for lack of a better word it's just going to create empty frames that you don't need and make a bigger file than what you need because you don't have enough frames for that but all of my videos are in 29.9 .9. I record in 29.9 .9 or 30 frames per second and everything looks good here with fine minimum bit rates fine audio is perfect that's exactly what you need and tracks this is how many tracks you want to set up for your video we'll get more into that a little bit later once we get to the interface but uh, you can change all that stuff here in a new sequence so if you know this going in then you can obviously change these to higher numbers or you can change this to you know 5.1 or 16 channel stereo uh, audio settings but I only have stereo for all of my stuff so it's just working for that and then we need to give our sequence a name so then you're gonna click on OK and it's gonna take Premiere Pro a couple of minutes to make your workspace this is your workspace now if you get past all of that and you get to this area here then this is even more confusing to most people because they they definitely definitely don't know what's going on here because it's not simple but it's a very powerful program and once you you understand where everything is it really is is easy to get around in this window over here is going to be your resource manager this is the area where all of your resources reside so you know let's say you added a video clip it's gonna go here if you wanted to add an audio file it's gonna go here if you want to add pictures it's gonna go here everything that you do in this program as far as making your video is going to go here this section for lack of a better word is going to be your editor section so whenever you add your filters, your effects, your plugins, your you know whatever it is that you mix into your video, it's going to go into this middle tab here, and we'll get more into that later, and you'll see me use that a little bit later too. This section is your preview pane. This will show you what your video is going to look like when it gets outputted. Again, this is the main reason why you want to make sure you set up the correct type of video in the very beginning when we set up our project file because if I had selected uh, standard DV at uh, 720 by 480 then this would not be widescreen this black space would be more of a block and if I wanted to export that into widescreen high definition you you wouldn't be able to it would be more headache than it's worth and you just you get lost you, you would literally get stuck so make sure you set up the correct outputting format before you get to this point if you mess up and you think you did something wrong at this point just start over trust me it's a lot better to get it right the first time when you set up your project files than it is to make your video get all your stuff in there correctly and then be like oh now I can't export it I've, I've been stuck in that a lot when I was first learning this program so that's your preview window. This will be your timeline down here. Uh, this is where everything in your video will get placed in the order in which you want it. And this is, of course, your effects, your history, uh, info about you know your actual files, all that good stuff. So once you get the basic general overview, it's it's not so complicated, right? 